Hello, brothers and sisters. Okay, so um, I received a word from the Lord, April. Oh, <laughs> wrong one. <laughs> April 9th, uh, 2017, at 1 p.m., about 1 p.m. Um, and, uh, you know, I've been praying on it ever since. And today he uh, led me to uh, Matthew 22, 14. Matthew 25, 34, and Luke 17, uh, 34 through 35, and I will put those down below, um, and uh, before before I read it, I just wanted to say something and make something absolutely clear, you know, um, first of all, well, two things actually, <laughs> first of all, take this word, any, any word that you hear, any dream, vision, any video that you watch, or someone is telling you that the Lord gave them something, take it to the Lord in prayer. Take it in your prayer closets, you know, because uh, there's so many, there's so much deception out there right now. So, forgive me, my son is in the other room crying, and I'm, ugh, I don't think he can hear it, but... I can, and it's, <laughs> oh, it's been, it's been rough the last several days, but, okay, anyways, um, so, uh, take it to the Lord in prayer, right, take every word that I give or anyone else gives it to the Lord in prayer, um, also, you know, I have learned, brothers and sisters, you know, I've been, as I've said before, I've been waiting and watching for the Lord uh, since the beginning of 2014, and especially within this last year, especially, I have learned, I have learned, I have learned that, you know, when the Lord says something, I have learned, and, and, and it sounds like it's, you know, going to happen right then and there, you know, or he says no more time, or he says, you know, whatever he says that makes it seem like it's happening now. I have learned to, first of all, pray on it. Second of all, uh, you know, remember that we are going on his timing, not ours. So, you know, I know a lot of people are getting frustrated in, in, in the fact that, you know, he's saying that, I'm, I'm, I'm coming right now, but yet, you know, you, we're not seeing him. You know, we must wait on him. We must trust him. We must have faith in him, you know. And then if you're if you're frustrated, I, I get frustrated. I really do. And I cry out to him and I say, Lord, how much longer are we going to be here? How much longer do we have to keep going? Because... You know, at times it feels like we've hit a brick wall, correct? No. So, you know, yeah, I get frustrated. And he's okay with that, as I've said before. He's okay. Cry out to him. But remember, we are on his timing, not ours, okay? So, uh, take it to the Lord in prayer. Very, very, very important. <laughs> and remember that we are on God's timing, not ours. And, and, he doesn't even have timing, like, you know, not the way we're thinking is, you know, we don't even understand, but we will one day. But right now we remember we just rely on him, trust in him and have faith that he is going to do what he says he's going to do. Okay. Um, to my sweet and faithful children, I say unto you, my bride, your rest has come. To all those that have patiently awaited by my side, come and see the kingdom I have prepared for you. To everyone who has given everything to me, to all who have laid everything down at my feet, I say unto you, come and sit at the table. The time as you know and understand, it is over and your race has been run. Many began this race, but few have made it to the finish line. So sing songs of joy. Jump up and down with joy and happiness. <laughs> if we're not doing that already, am I right? <laughs> Um, shed tears of joy, for you have made it. For you are the select few who shall gain your rewards, which have only 
been piling up high. Judgment shall fall upon the entire human race, and it is falling swiftly. Rejoice, all who I have made ready to stand judgment. Rejoice! For if you have surrendered all to me, then I have made you ready. For so many are called, but few are chosen. I shall gather together, <clears throat> excuse me, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> I shall gather together what is mine and then remove myself from this world for a time. There are dark days ahead, my children. The days you are in now are nothing compared to what is coming. The hard times you are facing now are like a picnic compared to what it'll be like for those that are left behind. Pray, for it is coming now and it will not be stopped. Pray, my loyal children. Pray, Yahshua. Okay, brothers and sisters, let us lift those that are not ready up in prayer. Okay, uh, yes, Lord, my God. Um, the Lord is leading me to do a prayer on here. I was kind of hesitant at first, and I'm like, mm, but it's going to run a little bit longer, and you know, but hey, he is uh, persistent, so I will do as he says. Okay, um, it'll be a quick prayer, though. Father God, we come to you right now. <laughs> We come to you in the name and the blood of Jesus Christ, which which covers all of us. We ask for your anointing, for your covering, Lord. We ask for you to keep us safe under your wing. Keep us safely hidden under your wing, under your mighty wing, Lord God. We ask right now, we lift up every single person that is not ready, that will not be ready when you return. Whatever the case may be, whether they're lukewarm, whether they're they have black backslidden, whether they are just downright don't believe in you, whatever the case may be, we lift them all up to you, Father God. Every single one of them, you know, you you know and see our hearts, Lord, your children. You see our hearts, and you see how they are breaking, Father God. For those that are not ready, they are breaking because some of them are just they're just plain blind. And if they were just shown the opportunity, if they were just given the opportunity to see, they would choose you in an instant. And unfortunately, they're too strong-headed or whatever their case may be, and they're not going to see. They're not going to open your, their eyes until they, it's too late and they have to go through tribulation. But we will praise your almighty, almighty name, Father God, because they have a chance. They may have to go through tribulation, but they have a chance. Thank you, God. Thank you. We praise you, most God Almighty, most high God. We praise your name. We give you thanks because we, we, Father God, not nothing that we have done, but that you have made us ready. You, you, Lord God, have made us wise virgin, wise virgins. <laughs> you have made us wise virgins wise of virgins and we thank you for that we thank you we fall down and we cry holy 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 is the lord my god our god <laughs> and we just thank you when we we just your will be done above all else your will be done and we ask that this is in the name and the blood of jesus christ we pray this amen Okay, brothers and sisters, so I love you all so very much. Keep your heads up. You know, let us always, always pray for the lost because I have no words. I have no words for the fear that I feel for them, my husband, my family members. You know, my mother, she believes in God. She even got a book, you know, because I told her about the return of Christ. And, you know, she even got a book on it. You know, she's, she's starting to open her eyes a little bit. However, 
My mother's been in AA for 12, actually almost 13 years now. And I believe God's, God's revealing to me that she has made AA her idol. You know, when something goes wrong, she needs a meeting, not not God right at first. And and I'm not quite for sure, but either way, you know, so I don't know. I don't know where I got on that. I just, so, you know, I've got many family members that are going to be probably left behind, but have, have joy, brothers and sisters, because, because of our obedience, because of mine and your obedience and our loyalty and nothing that we have done, granted, it is all God almighty, right? But, you know, because of the relationship that we have with him and your prayers, of course, for your family and friends, they will be saved in the end. They will be saved in the end. So just continue to pray for them, brothers and sisters, and keep your heads up. Keep your heads up. Keep your heads up because he's coming. He is coming. He is coming. I love you all just so very much. Shalom.